Hi everyone. Uh, so it's Wednesday, the seventeenth of October. Um, uh, supposed to have done one of these yesterday, but I didn't charge my camera and it was too late. So basically, I'm doing Tuesdays and Wednesdays in one go. Um, I'm at my painting desk, uh, and these are all the Reaver Titan parts that I've uh, cleaned up. Which I've realised I've still got gates on two bits there. Um, some of these I've just cut the gates off so they actually need cleaning up but this is all scrub now uh, I'll talk you through the parts um, so these are the feet as you can see the feet are quite big if I get the leg so the leg will go somewhere like that uh, not going to stay upright but anyway but yeah that's basically going to be the leg these hooks are actually for the pistons that go into there and uh, the, the the toe bits that I was talking about will fit plug into them with the pistons going into the hooks. Uh, these are the shoulders, the sh weapon mounts for the shoulders. So the weapon goes in there, the shoulder plugs in the top. Uh, I, I'll get to the other bits in a minute. So this is the um, the groin section where the legs will plug into. Uh, I'm pretty sure it goes that way around, but I'm not 100 sure. I don't think it matters because it's practically identical. Um, that is the back of the actual body, which so it's the reactor and stuff. Um, we got various tubes and uh, more tubes and uh, more tubes. That is the right knee. Uh, it's supposed to be that way up. It's the right knee pad. So I'm going to do some nice uh, scroll work on there eventually. This is the hood that goes over the head. Um, so it would go under that bit. But I'm not sure how it would go exactly. Something along that. It could, I could be wrong. I, I'm probably very wrong. But there you go. Um, that's the armour plate that goes... Uh, over the other knee I think no it's not it goes up over the um, over the groin and I think that's the back piece uh, so I'm not actually sure where what piece this is for yet but we'll work it out this is the main body part uh, the two reactor bits that go on the back uh, the piece that goes on the top obviously a lot of detail on that and I'm gonna put my efforts into getting that looking good um, not 100% sure what piece this is, to be honest, yet, but we'll get to it. This is the piece that goes on the front there, and the head connects to that, I believe. Um, I hope. Um, obviously, the other knee pad. This has all been cleaned up now. One thing I did notice, you know, it, might, it may be a bit hard to see on camera, People were talking about different colours for the Forge World resin. And both parts of this, the reactor, are slightly different greys. Um, you can probably see it best there. I don't know why. Um, it doesn't really matter to me. You can see it like that. I'm not fussed. These bits here... They're alcoves for the servitors and the uh, stuff inside. Basically, they will be going like that, I believe. With obviously the detailing inside, which I've still got to clean up and that. Um, these are going to be the first bits painted because I want to paint the interior of this as well. Um, so yeah it's a big job and it, it, i've got more of it in soak i've got another round of soaking of stuff to do um but there we have uh wednesday of my reaver titan build you'll have to excuse my desk it is quite a mess at the moment i've been painting um I'm gonna do a little bit of painting today not a lot um but i'm gonna finish cleaning up this this these titan parts so like i said i've just got to clean like the gates up off of there and uh i think these that's where the gates connect i'm gonna have to get my dremel out for that because it's quite a mess this is obviously a big block of resin i can chip away with that with um uh clippers uh 
that's a big block as well so I'll have to take my saw to that and then I'll clean it up with uh, the clippers and probably the same, same with that as well although that's not too thick let's put it on camera that's not too thick I could get I might be able to get away with clippers but I'll probably get take my saw to it um, so that's that's Wednesday um, hopefully gonna do an update tomorrow uh, with some more stuff uh, but we'll have to see tomorrow I'm back to work so it'll be it'll be uh, trying to manage my time but we'll see right and I will see you tomorrow hi everyone it's uh, Friday 19th of October uh, doing my Revertime blog again I've, I know I've missed a day but I'll explain why in a minute um, and in front of us we have this is the Gatling Blaster which is it's going to be its left arm uh, that's the apocalypse launcher which is going to go on top which is just a uh, it's three pieces that that and that that's the apocalypse launcher uh, we have pistons that's the arm mount for the gatling blaster that's the arm mount for the volcano cannon um, we've got this is the interior detail stuff that those six bits there uh, and at the front here we have the crew so that's the moderati or the princeps I can't remember what they're called and then there's the two steermen um, them two there the control panel here and then we like I said loads and loads and loads of pistons um, and then all over here is the, the um, decorative stuff um, plus the, the tech adept uh, let's not put my hand in the way it's a separate model that comes with it it's a, a tech priest and like we have aquilas we have uh, just various bits to detail the titan lots of purity seals and uh, loads of stuff so yeah so that's basically uh, yesterday I just had this stuff in soak because uh, I was at work last night um, and uh, I just had this soaking for like a day that's my no normal way I do four drill stuff is I leave it soaking overnight um, maybe clean the water once or twice um, I'm happy with this apocalypse launcher at last because last time I tr worked on this it was really really shiny and I was worried that it wasn't going to hold the paint but now the shine seems to have gone good scrub we all have good scrubber as I keep saying um, but yeah so this is Thursday, uh, Friday's update sk having skipped Thursday I've got one more load that's in soak now uh, what I'll do is it'll be left overnight um, and I'll probably give it another set of clean water in the morning when I get home from work and then I'll scrub it tomorrow when I get up um, but yeah so I've got to be going to be starting to cut this stuff off uh, probably Sunday because I'm at work for the next two days but I've got Saturday I can do some work on it as well um, we'll see but that's it for today I will hopefully record some more tomorrow right and so it's, sat it's Sunday now the 21st of October uh, it's uh, been a bit of a bad day I'm tired and whatever from work but Finish cleaning up the last of the Reaver Titan parts. I know you can still see the gates on there because I'm not sure if you look at that, that bit there, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be cut off because these ones have them and the gate had a bit. So I'm not sure. I'm going to leave that until I get to get into assembly. Um, but yeah, we have everything else is cleaned up. These are, again, they're such small pieces. If you look they're, they're proper detailed they're purity seals and all that so i'm leaving them on there until i decide to decorate the titan which will be after it's painted and stuff i would expect that's the apocalypse launcher this is its head uh if i can try and part assemble this so you got he goes in there he goes in there you've got a little viewing screen which is that which goes on the inside of the titan's head and then that's the moderati 
it goes like that so that's the Titan crew in the head and then the head goes on like that um, this is probably going to be the first thing I paint the, the head and the crew because it's going to be the sort of thing I'm not going to seal it, it the head's going to be able to come off um, but I figured it's a good place to start so it has these connector points under here where the wires come out and they connect to those bits there so there's more detailed bits to the head which I will get to these again are the they're the hardwired servitors for the weapons that go on the inside again I'm going to paint the inside before I fully assemble it um, but yeah so it's been about two weeks of me working on this so far it has been two weeks of me working on this because this is the last video blog for this week um, everything's cleaned everything's uh, relatively molded uh, mold line free now and um, there's still a few little bits I've got to do but I've got more it's more a case of I've got, I've got to get my Dremel out to do that and these are the Tech Priest's arms um, this is the Tech Priest himself I've got to put him on a, uh, a little base he's an actual gaming model um, so yeah it's all looking good there's loads of detailed bits again like I said all these will go on once the Titan's painted and these are painted then I'll glue them on but yeah so this week two um, I will be hopefully starting the build and possibly paint uh, Tuesday although it may be only little bits because um, we've got my nephews over so we'll see but yeah, here we go uh, Reaver Titan on its way I will see you next week